Hey guys and welcome back to this chain ladder series. We're a few videos into it now and this will probably be the last one. Now what we're going to do or what we did in the last video first is we calculated this tail factor down here which we were going to use to get to our ultimate claim amount. So fully developed loss amount that corresponds to this triangle up here when we use the chain ladder method. Now to be able to, what we're, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to apply that tail factor to this column, but you obviously can't apply it to NANs, you can't multiply NAN by the tail factor for each one of these rows. So what we're going to have to do first is we're going to have to complete this triangle. So all these NANs will disappear and have um, estimated figures in there. And the way we do that is we're going to use these factors here that we've calculated in the video um, earlier in the series. And then we can then utilize our tail factor down here so let's go ahead and do that so the way we're first gonna complete the triangle is we're gonna do a loop here so if we go for i col in enumerate we take a triangle dot columns and we don't want the first one so we take everything from the first one onwards and then for J in range I plus one. So we did enumerate up here. So we have this I counter if you like, and that's gonna tick up each time through here and fed through our range function. And then what we put within this loop is we go triangle col dot at. So what this is, since we're, our triangle is represented by a pandas data frame, we can use this syntax here which we go dot at and then we take 2017 which is our most recent origin year we go minus j and we go equals factors which are these factors here calculated in an earlier video as i said and we're going to index into this array here depending on where our i is at up here and we're going to multiply that so multiply that by triangle and then as you've seen earlier in the series we just change the column to an integer so in this instance we can take away a one and then set it back to a string and then we go dot at and 2017 minus j and so if we type triangle down here and we run our code so we can take a look at what we've just done um i've just got an error here Sorry, I'll just um, refresh the triangle itself. So if we come back up here and I'll just reread it in, I couldn't see where that error was coming from and we'll do that. So there we go, we've, wor we've got that to work now. And as you can see, all the NANs are gone. So back up here, there's a triangle, all the NANs. Now we come down here, we got a full data frame and the relevant factors in that array that I pointed out earlier have been uh, multiplied against the relevant periods here to extrapolate out and get out to this column 10 here. And now what our goal is now is to use this factor, our tail factor that we calculated with our re linear regression model in the last video. We just need to multiply this 10 column each row. So it's gonna be that times our tail factor, that times our tail factor and so on down the column and we will have what we can label our ultimate column. So let's do that. So if we go triangle, we've got a new column here and we'll call it ultimate. And we go triangle. We'll just pick up column 10 here because it's the one we're obviously focused on. And then we'll just multiply it by our tail factor. If we take a look again at our triangle, we get this ultimate column here. 
and because that's obviously a model that's extrapolating out to that and we've only got these figures here prior to that are actually captured in our data what we'll do is we'll take this column minus this column to um, create an IBNR column or an incurred but not reported column so we go triangle and then we go IBNR we go triangle ultimate and then go dot subtract and we go triangle 10 oops and we take another look at our triangle there run that so we can see that the IBNR Again, in curb and not reported is the difference between these two figures here and then just finally because that's going to give you an IBNR figure for say uh, this origin year the 2008 you might want to see what the IBNR is for everything for all years combined which will be pretty common so if we go triangle which is just a data frame here dot sum we can sum everything and we hit that there and then we can see that the sum of this column is this 209 so you can see the sum of each column really but you can see the sum of the ultimate um, estimates that we've generated from the chain ladder method and our linear regression model and you can see the sum of our IBNR estimates in there as well so that'll do us for this video in this series as well on the chain ladder method. If you thought it was helpful, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and thanks for watching.